The alleged findings were startling. Ex Lackland workers admitting they falsified inspection records. And as we've reported, families living in base housing describe living there with cockroaches, mold, and leaky roofs. Reuters and CBS News were the first to report on a United Kingdom company called Balfour Beatty Companies. They had faked maintenance records. Those bogus records are earning them millions in fees and rewarding a job well done. Jesse Degriato is live from JBSA Lackland with reaction tonight from top Air Force brass here and in Washington, along with the San Antonio Congressman Jesse. Well, the the report actually is not clear whether uh, the same company, Balfour Beatty Communities, were responsible for the oversight and maintenance of the Lackland dorms. Now, as you may recall, it took a social media blast last August to expose the extent of mold in those dorms, or rather that this report focus, focuses on housing inspection records and how those numbers were allegedly manipulated to reflect that the company was meeting its maintenance goals. In a statement, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, John Henderson, called the findings concerning, saying, quote, there is no room on the Air Force team for anyone who does not share our core values of integrity, service, and excellence. He went on to say throughout the Department of Defense, we also are making substantial progress to finalize a resident's Bill of Rights, establish an effective resolution process, and develop standard leasing documents. Joint Base San Antonio Commander Brigadier General Laura Lenderman says new initiatives include 100% inspections prior to new residents moving in, monthly resident council meetings, and legal assistance during the dispute resolution process, as well as tracking health and safety issues. Yesterday, in his statement, Congressman Joaquin Castro says forging maintenance records in order to take home millions in bonuses is the definition of immoral. No family, he says, should have to live with the threat of asbestos, mold, or whether their home is secure. Well, the report also found the alleged scheme also involved Air Force bases in Oklahoma and in Montana. And so tonight, the Air Force Office of Special Investigations is looking into whether the Balfour Beatty communities falsified those work orders. And of course, if so, then the Secretary of the Air Force says that it will take action against that company. We're live outside JBSA Lackland, Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.